What's up, YouTube? This is Swide from Reddit Troopers. I'm over today in FYSB uh, to watch some replays from their recent war against Exclusive Nation. As many of you, I'm sure, know, Exclusive Nation uh, somewhat dubiously jumped FYSB, hunted them down, and uh, matched town halls and jumped them. Um, and it didn't work out very well, <laughs> as it turns out. Uh, apparently... Uh, so the story goes, Exclusive Nation also had a spy in FYSB who had been in there for a week or so. Uh, so they knew trap positions and all that jazz. And FYSB found out, kicked that player, and ended up being down two attacks, really, through the war. Regrettably. Uh, even so, despite those deficits, FYSB, um, who also claims to be a 100% fair play clan, which is great... Um, more power to them. They pulled out a win. Really good stuff. Congrats, guys. Uh, to be completely honest, I'm just going to say this up front and put this out there. It reflects perhaps more poorly upon Exclusive Nation than it does positively on FYSB. Um, I'll scroll through the bases here. Uh, EN left two Town Hall 10s open... One, two, three, four, five, six Town Hall 9s open. Uh, and FYSB left one Town Hall 10 and one, well, yeah, this is a 9-5. Maybe could have got that, but one Town Hall 9, two, just two Town Hall 9s, basically. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> Quite frankly, it wasn't it wasn't a great war from either side. FYSB, obviously, you'd expect to have a slightly worse war. They had two less attacks, and you can pretty much guarantee those two would have been the cleaning attacks on the other two Town Hall 9s. Um, but EN just had kind of an embarrassing performance for having the advantages they had. It's sad, <laughs> quite frankly. Um... FYSB and EN both had the same Town Hall breakdowns. Uh, ten Town Hall 10s on either side, two of which, I believe, were 9.5s on either side. Uh, each had, I think, 19 Town Hall 9s and a Town Hall 8. Um, and that's obviously because EN matched the Town Halls and heroes to the best of their ability uh, to match FYSB. Let's look at some replays. Uh, I'm going to start with our esteemed victors here. Uh, and we're going to go down... I'm not going to watch. They only had one Town Hall 10 triple, and it was on a Town Hall 9 with level 1 Infernos, basically. So nothing special there. I won't replay that for you guys. I'm going to get right into the Town Hall 9s. And this first one is by Omega uh, on Rodtastic. Solid attack. Um, he is going to start from the north here uh, with a bit of a queen walk. There we go. Um, four healers. So, a pretty good number of healers, actually. Uh, you need four healers on an Archer Queen if two defenses, two point defenses, are targeting her because she will lose health otherwise. Um, in fact, she may slowly lose health anyway, uh, but four healers guarantees that she stays alive basically long enough to do anything she needs to get done. Um, so, she's cleaning out. She actually negates. Double giant bomb spot there. Golem goes in. Uh, a few witches behind, which actually I like. Uh, wizards following up just to clean. All pretty simple. Queen has actually gone down already, which is interesting. So these four healers are just going to latch onto the golems pretty much for the rest of the raid. Uh, he bombs in to the first layer there. And into the second. Jump goes down. King on queen. He's going to take care of her, no problem. Um, hogs start coming in. You can see those witches just under rage. Doing a fair bit of work, actually. Um, hogs come in. Kind of a two-finger drop. Uh, these hogs are meant, I believe, only to take these defenses out and to trip this double giant bomb. They hit a couple skelly traps there, and so don't really do, I think, what they were meant to do. Luckily, he has a couple hogs come this way. Uh, 
the Skellies have broken through this wall, and so they're going to get over there and do something similar. Uh, Hog's under heal pretty much the whole time. At this point, he's got no heals left, so he's going to have some bacon there. Uh, initially, I like the concept that have some Hogs come in, break down a few defenses, and negate this double giant bomb spot, but in practice, it didn't work because of those Skelly traps. Still a good idea. He obviously has plenty left for this base. All three witches still up. Got his king, um, some cleanup troops down here in the south. All his healers, so the golem basically remained untouched <laughs> throughout the whole raid, which is kind of funny. Solid attack, man. Nice job, Jomega. Good attack. Uh, the next one I wanted to show is on uh, EN16, and this is by Dave, and he's hitting up a number of spots, actually. Um, this is a... Uh, I mean, it's... It's a half Town Hall 9, kind of. <laughs> it's got Expos, obviously, that are maxed. Uh, wizard Towers that are more or less maxed. But Point Defenses are Town Hall 8 still. Uh, all Lavas. You know, I, I'm going to make a note of this just for anybody still considering this option. Pre-update, at least maybe two or three updates ago at this point, Town Hall point fives. So upgrading your town hall, working on walls and heroes before you touch defenses. Uh, that was the way to go because walls and heroes were so, um, they were weighted so lightly uh, with respect to other defensive buildings, even research uh, and things of that nature. Nowadays, they're all more or less weighted uh, equivalently and to just do your walls is no longer a great idea. <laughs> frankly. 8.5s, I think, are more or less dead unless you're a Town Hall 9 moving to Town Hall 10, uh, and in which case I I still would wait to drop Infernos because those are weighted so, so, so heavily. Um, otherwise, if you're a Town Hall 8 going to Town Hall 9, don't worry about the wall thing anymore. Uh, this is base as an example. It's their 16 on, and you know, Dave is their number 24, FYSB's number 24, hitting 8 spots up and has like five or six hero levels on this guy because his walls are so, so heavy. Uh, so just a quick note about that. Um, enjoyed this attack as well. Kind of a unique, kind of a unique attack, frankly. Um, he's going to start and just, he's dropped some minis around the edges just to do a little cleanup initially. Start funnel breaking, uh, which is great. Golems come down. Uh, wizards are going to get aggroed onto that king and kill him eventually. Here's the third golem. Uh, it's a stone, obviously. Queen comes in behind. Jump has already gone down. Uh, no bombers, actually. He's just jumping through the first layer, through the second, into the first kind of box here. Uh, two balloons and a dragon in the CC, so he rages his kill squad. Um, queen and a couple whizzies make short work of that. Has two jumps, as you could tell by the initial loadout. Um, and one thing I'm going to point out right now, since I'm sure you guys have noticed this, is this is a 9.5 attack, if you couldn't tell based on the max, uh, some of the max troops, max golems. Uh, but his heroes are lower, spells have no advantage, and I kind of just enjoy the attacks. I'm showing it anyway. Um, Balloons, selected loons have started to come down, uh, and they are just going to take out kind of some side defenses to help with pathing. Um, King now has used that second jump, and obviously he's running with five spells, uh, which is a huge advantage. That said, um, you know, I, I'm not even sure if he really needed the last heal. We'll see here in a bit. Hogs go down. Uh, Preemptive heal here on this king, uh, for God knows what reason. <laughs> that heal was kind of sketchy. It was really early. Um, knew there was a double giant bomb. Nope, just a single actually there. But, you know, even so. Uh, plenty of loons left on the edge. Coming in, cleaned up all the way around. Plenty of hogs left. I mean, he wrecks the base, no problem. And... Certainly has more than that 20 stro troops base extra that I'm sure he's rocking, but in any case, uh, has a poison spell left over. He decides to burn there in the corner. 
Nice attack, man. Bit of a bully attack, I will grant you guys, but uh, kind of enjoyed the... It was almost like an old-fashioned holo. You know, kind of holoing. Let's just look at the base again. He basically holoed for pathing these outer, and then had the hogs take kind of the shortest route through the center. It's interesting. Cool attack. Uh, last one I want to show on FYSB side is um, their attack on number 24. Uh, and this is by Dane. Dane is their highest Town Hall 9 in FYSB, and this guy is basically a, I mean, same thing. Super high walls, um, Town Hall 8 defenses, except for the air defenses. Uh, I like this attack. First of all, because he wrecks the base. He does it in a minute 45. Um, but he also does something kind of unique. So he pulls just with a hog there uh, all of... Uh, the clan castle troops. Um, and you can see he's actually even got like a goblin here and some other jazz. Uh, but mostly balloons. And he just drops two poisons on those balloons. Uh, and it's going to take about eight seconds or so, but all four balloons go down. Uh, there's a Valkyrie left, but two poisons take her to about a third of her health, and she's going to be one or two with shots away. Um, okay. We saw it in the last replay, and here it is again, and I just want to make this clear for anybody who's confused. This is a horrible jump spell. Not because it doesn't serve its purpose well. Uh, it gets them into the first layer, into the second layer, takes care of the queen, fine. Uh, but, you know, it even gets them over here. But you bring three wall breakers. So you drop a hog in one of these goblins, or a giant in one of these goblins, right? You're able to bomb these both compartments open, same thing, and then you drop a jump here. And if you guys have watched my jump spell video, that lets you into this compartment and this compartment. Uh, it's a no-brainer. <laughs> a lot of people don't think, hey, eight spaces, too far. It's not too far. I'm just pointing that out for you guys. It's not too far. I've done it now a number of times. <laughs> Do it. Try it for yourself. Has to be perfectly in the center. So you'd have to drop it basically right here, but you can do it. Uh, and it is significantly gets you much more use out of that jump spell than dropping it on a first layer uh, set of walls to save yourself six troop space. So something to think about. Um, hogs come in, kind of a surgical deployment. Uh, started with a giant and then just kind of a three-finger drop almost. Bad double giant bomb spots, so they trip one at a time here. Uh, didn't even have to burn a heal on them there. Has one poison spell left for these skellies. Uh, and he just wrecks this base, man. He's got, I think, have both. No, he's just got one golem left. The other one's split. But he's got whizzies all over the place. Uh, basically a full health queen. Probably 12, 10 to 12 hogs or so. Uh, I, I don't even know if he lost a wizard. And he has four hogs in the bag. So, just demolishes this thing and he does it in a minute 40 with 20 less troop space so just beautiful <laughs> favorite attack of the war by dane uh, really nice job man i wanted to show a couple en replays as bad as their war was they had some good attacks uh they're not a bad clan uh they just didn't have big brother here to help them <laughs> i don't think uh apparently the EN kind of set up the hunt without EE knowing because EE is in the uh, China versus the world war um, tournament, if you will, with troopers and clash nerds and everybody else, and they haven't been paying attention to EN, their sister clan. So uh, EN kind of did it without the knowledge of the players in EE, and so didn't have any help, and that kind of was pretty clear. <laughs> so. Uh, even so, some good attacks. I want to show this one by Rambo. Um, solid attack. Uh, he's going to come from the northwest. Just a couple golems initially. Uh, Wizzies, the funnel break. Here comes the third golem. Uh, King goes down. Uh, early jump, which is fine. 
uh, had 10 Barch and a Dragon in the CC. The 10 Barch is pretty interesting uh, instead of Loons. Or maybe 10 Barch and 4 Loons instead of a Dragon. Uh, for one, it distracts troops long enough to get that high damage dealing unit there. Um, additionally, it forces you to burn a Poison Spell most of the time. So, your Skelly Traps, which, uh, if you're smart, you're trying to save your Poison Spell for it if it's a Hog Attack, even if it's an Air Attack. Um, basically, a Barch, Barch in your CC kind of negates uh, the, the Poison Spell on the Skellies, because you can only bring one, presumably, um, without sacrificing a bigger spell, and can't uh, can't spend it in two places. Got a bit lucky there with, <laughs> with that trip, but... Um, wouldn't have mattered. The hogs were all full health anyway. Had them under heal, so uh, lots and lots of hogs left. Not many cleanup troops. Has a little golemite up here. That's uh, putting in the work for the MVP award. Uh, but lots of hogs who are just going to wrap around the whole base slowly but surely. All he had to do was save like one Wizzy, drop him here to save himself like thirty seconds, but <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. He obviously, I mean, he wrecked the base in no time at all, so uh, no harm, no foul. But one wizard could have been could have been useful at this point. Nice attack, though, man. Uh, and I also wanted to show the only uh, one of the only town hall ten threes in the war by Simon. Uh, and this was after I think this is the third attempt. So this is after a couple fails on this base. Um, but only level 2 Infernos and Town Hall 9 defenses for the most part. A couple extra King levels. Um, has his other Expo down, but it's still level 1. So, uh, two of the four air defenses are moved to Town Hall 10. Um, has the extra bomb, of course. Otherwise, it's basically a 9-5. Um, it, it's, it's like a 9-7-5 kind of at this point. Has the extra defenses, level 2 Infernos, but just still not maxed. Especially the hero levels, that's huge. Um, anyway, Simon starts off with a Queen Walk. No healers, just giant to distract. Uh, only two point defenses in range, and so the Queen's going to take care of both of those. Um, she's negating, I believe, a bomb spot here. Initially. Um, Golems go down, it's a stoned. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's kind of the standard at this point. Um, wait a minute. There's four golems there. That's not a stone. <laughs> so he's actually, he brought four golems. That's, uh, hey. So instead of bringing healers, basically, he subs out what is normally probably three healers on the Ar Ar Archer Queen uh, for a golem. Golem and a giant to tank. It's nice. Uh, that is going to soak up all those Inferno Beams essentially. He's going to get deep in there. Uh, it's a great jump. It's going to let him into both Infernos. King is going one way. Uh, Golems are going to take out the other one. And that ensures that his pack of hogs are safe. Goes down right now. Beautiful. Uh, and then the main pack of hogs is just going to follow the classic hog path around these DF bases. Uh, doing work. Early second heal there. Uh, it's totally fine. He doesn't have giant bombs to worry about because presumably there's one here, maybe? There's one here, one here. It's two, three, four. Yeah, maybe over here, five. Down there, so. Um, it's a great attack. I mean, you know, it's a max Town Hall 10 against a 975, but Full health queen at the end is always a good sign, especially without healers. So, nice attack, man. Good job, Simon. Anyway, guys, uh, I will show. Uh, let me show the teams from both sides. It was a pretty good war. Hulk streamed uh, the end of it for the most part. Actually, there's a guy on <laughs> EN named Hulk, I think, but they are absolutely not related. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a great war. FYSB, really nice job, guys. EN, rough, <laughs> rough break for you guys, quite frankly. Uh, it hurt you a lot more than it helped you.
for sure. But um, shout out to everybody at FYSB. Um, leaders, talking to leadership briefly before making the video, asking if there's anything they wanted me to point out specifically. And they're just saying they were proud of their guys for showing up and being fair play and taking it to them. So nice job, guys. That's all I have for you. Until next time, this is Swide from Reddit Troopers. You guys have a good one.